Okay, so here is a problem today. We have 6 divided by 2 divided by 6 divided by 2. On the first side, this problem is very easy problem. We can easily solve it. Very simple problem. But a lot of students make this mistake. And I'm going to show this mistake here in just 7 seconds. Okay, so a lot of students out there are like, yes, I can handle this problem. I can handle it. This is basic division. I learned this stuff in the third grade and I can easily solve it. And right now, I suggest you to choose one option. What do you think is a correct answer? So we have 2, 3, 6, and 1 fourth. And I hope you solve it correctly. Yeah? So choose one option and write your answer down in a comment section, okay? Okay, let's try to solve it. First of all, I'm going to start with this approach. So we have 6 divided by 2 divided by 6 and divided by 2. So I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I'm going to show you this approach that very stu many students solve it like that, okay? 6 divided by 2. They say, okay, 6 divided by 2 equal to 3, yeah? And then 6 divided by 2 in the end equal to 3 as well. Yeah, and then in the middle this division, so 3 divided by 3, equal to 1. Yeah, a lot of students solve it like that, they say, okay, this is equal to 1. And right here we don't have this option, this is very tricky moment right now, because this is incorrect, yeah? And this is a sign that tell us that we need to solve it in a in different order of operation, yeah? So 1 is incorrect answer, we don't have this answer in option, in, in an option section, yeah? So right now, whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? So right now we start with this order, option 1 is incorrect. So we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question I showed to my student this PMDAC order, the main popular order in the world, all internet libraries, all scientific graph and calculator works according to PMDMC. There are many different order of operation, but I suggest you to learn or to to put attention to this PMDMC order. Yeah. So what is this PMDMC order? It works from the top to the bottom. Yeah. And right here we have the first step, parentheses, yeah? So are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses, so we go to the next step. The next step is exponents right here. So are there any squares, cubes right here, 4th power, 10th power? No, I don't see any of those. So we just skip this part. The third and fourth step, multiplication and division as one group, yeah? So right here we don't have any, any multiplication sign, we have division, so this is our case. And moreover, we don't have addition and subtraction, so this is only division case. If you're talking about PMDMC, this PMDMC walks from the left to the right. So we have 6 divided by 2, divided by 6, and divided by 2, yeah? So if you're talking PMDMC, it works from the left to the right. And now we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this division, yeah? So this is our first sign. So we need to divide these two numbers. Okay, 6 divided by 2 equal to equal to 3, and we just need to write this expression in the end, yeah? We still have this expression. 3 divided by 6 divided by 2, okay. Now, what we have? Uh, we have this division case once more, so we need to divide first two numbers, because the first sign from left to right is this division. Once more, once more the same step. The first sign from left to right division, and right here, the first sign from left to right is this division, okay? 3 divided by 6 equal to 1 half, yeah? 1 half, this is our fraction, I write it in a fraction way, or we can write it as 0 0.5, doesn't matter, okay? And we have 1 half divided by 2, this is our classic regular case, so 1 half divided by 2, this is equal to 1 over 1 over 4. Okay, and we are, if we are talking about an option, this is option, option D, yeah? And a lot of students, maybe 98% try to solve it like that, they wanted to solve it in an easy way, yeah? As a lot of students try to solve it, they know 6 divided by 2 is 3, and right here 6 divided by 2 is 3, and they say, okay, 1 is correct answer, but if you are talking about a correct explanation and correct solution, this is option, option D. Very tricky question, I hope you solved it correctly, but if you made this error, I'm happy you made it, because you won't make this again, yeah? You can easily check this, check this answer in your, in your like, regular calculator, because this is a simple problem, so you can, sell, uh, you can check it in your regular calculator on your telephone, yeah? So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain tests, if you need to to enhance your knowledge in your IQ, your brain level, I suggest you to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of interesting videos, a lot of puzzles, a lot of a lot of brain tests, and I hope you enjoyed this content. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.